Welcome to Snagshaw, the home of new build inspections. Yes, guys, we're over at Amwell Homes today. It's a four bedroom detached property and it's looking pretty good, not gonna lie. And um, we've had a few ropey properties that we've been to recently. So we're really hoping this one's gonna break the mold and it's gonna be absolutely awesome for the customer. But we'll soon find out about that. So we're gonna do the externals first, then we'll drop some um, content on some of the issues that we find, then hopefully get into, into the internal soon because it is absolutely freezing today. And for March, that's pretty depressing. So let's get into this and get inside as fast as we can. Let's go. So just checking out the property, a couple of things that we found. Obviously we want to see stuff like this cleaned off just to improve the presentation of the front elevation or as soon as you walk up to that front door. Um, we've got some decorative issues to the front door. You can see it's just a bit poorly finished in areas with paint runs. Um, you can see we've got some mortar on the brick down here to be honest we think that this weep hole could be fake so that needs to be looked at it's most certainly blocked so we need to unblock that um, some poor sealant application just needs a little bit improvement you can see we've got a couple of mortar repairs there i'd like to trim back that dpc just to improve the presentation you can see the garage door needs to be cleaned We've got some chip paintwork, stuff like this. Just needs to be cleaned off and tidied up for the customer. We move around, we need some additional paint application to the meter cupboards. We can open the electrical one, not without causing some damage. So this needs to be addressed. We'll look at the paving, you can see we've got build up all over the show. So this just needs to be cleaned and just, again, it just improves the presentation. Um had a look here if I get my trusty long nose pliers out. So we always check inside these and if we look closely you can see that there's no connection. So the cavity is open, we've got no duct that could lead to a number of issues so that needs to be addressed. As we continue around the property, you see some areas of brickwork. It just benefit from a clean, just to really improve the presentation. Um, the rear garden is holding quite a lot of water. I stepped on it before and yeah, nearly disappeared. Um, you can see we've got some protective tape still on the frames. We need to remove this. We then need to clean the residue of the frame. Just to tidy up what we're looking at yeah you can see we've got a mortar repair to that drill hole we'd like to trim back the dpc <coughs> and all in all it hasn't actually been that bad um looking up on the bedroom window if we zoom in a little bit closely you can see we've got a missing sill cap we'll get that installed nice little quick fix on the side elevation we've got a leaking gutter union the waste is tracking back to this elbow rather than falling into the stack. So we're going to have a little look at that. But all in all, we're not too shabby. We're not too shabby. The quick fixes. Um, so, yeah, let's get inside and get warm. Okay, so we're finished inside the entrance hall now. So we're going to have a quick look about some of the issues that we've found. So I think you'll be surprised. Let's go. Okay, let's take a look around. So straight away on the base of these internal doors, you could scratch your foot on them bad boys. Uh, really coarse finish. This needs to be sanded back and reapplied. Look at the quality of the tile cuts. In my opinion, that is quite poor. You can see it on both sides, not great. Got a massive, it's quite difficult to see there actually, but quite a large gap so we would, like, if we can't infill this, then let's at least put a pipe shroud on there, just try to make it look a bit more appealing. You 
again when setting out and trying to get these right it's just not fantastic um, again because the floor tiling has gone in after the wall tiling we've got inconsistent margins and it looks poor it looks a lot poorer in person um, it just doesn't look like a very sleek finish unfortunately if we look at the grouting so the quality of the grout application is poor <coughs> it's not been cleaned properly that's kind of what's caused the problem we've got build up all over the show and it's difficult to sort out once it's been complete um, that's why it's really important that things are done correctly first time round so just gonna flick the light off um, got a little repair up here this needs to be sorted out finishing along the rake is not fantastic we've got scrim tape visible so these little issues can be sorted quite easily so number of issues in here and we move on inside the lounge now so we're going to get straight into this it's quite basic when we're looking at the lounge so you'd think that there wouldn't be many issues in the lounge because there ain't a lot going on we've got windows we've got walls we've got floors and we've got a door so how wrong can we get it eh so let's get into this and if we find any issues we're going to run through them with you as soon as possible so checking out inside the lounge now we've got a number of issues um some decorative issues not fantastic you can quite see if we look closely at the paint finish it's not fantastic it's really coarse in areas we've got paint all over the hinges areas that need to be sanded back and recoated. as we move around you can see we've got some damage on the radiator covers they need to be replaced but if we look underneath quite alarming to see the underside of the window board has not been closed out got some quite poor finishing here you can see that the plastering come closely it's really poor and um, when we install curtains and stuff like that this will really cast a shadow and really highlight how poor this plastering is so there needs to be some improvements. If we're lining through and looking at that skin bead, look at that. You know that about? Not acceptable, needs to be improved. Um, number of just decorative issues around the head of the frame. Got residue over the window handles. These need to be cleaned off. Have we move around? Um, we need to remove paint from the electrical components where required. We've got all the fixings are still on display on the skirting, so they need to be filled prior to paint application. So that now needs to be addressed. If we look up at the ceiling finish, I'm sure you can see that it's not been cut in along the ceiling junction, so it looks quite poor. If we move around here, there's large areas that have not been painted. So we've got a real inconsistent finish, so we now need to reapply the ceiling, in my opinion. Let's cut it in, let's get a uniform finish, and it'll be round about there. So we now move on into the kitchen and see what we can find in there. Okay guys, now so we've just moved into the kitchen space. Got myself a brew, still a bit cold, not going to lie. Um, so we're going to look at the kitchen units first of all, looking for areas of damage, making sure everything's working correctly. Um, we're then going to move on to the actual room itself. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you know the kind of things that we're looking for. Obviously we've, we've found a few questionable items up to now. So I'm really hoping that doesn't continue into this room, but we'll show you everything that we find in a few minutes. So let's get into this one. So just to run through some of these items, so area of concern straight away that we've got mould present uh, to the backs of the units. So this needs to be cleaned, but it also needs to be monitored. I've seen quite a lot of condensation building up on um, some components. So yeah, it needs to be monitored. We've got scratches, quite excessive scratches on that extractor. So for me, this needs to be replaced. I've got a discrepancy up there. The extract chimney is also kinked, so that needs to be lined up. We've got just some general poor finishing around the electrical outlets. 
We've got some damage on the kitchen units that need professional repair. I can show you some of them items. Stuff like this. So it's either professional repair or it needs to be replaced. Get them child locks back on. Um, same around here. Look up, we've got more damage. Um, so this is obviously part of the carcass. It's not clad on end panel. And we've got damage there, so that needs to be addressed. If we turn this light fitting up. Uh, so we've got some decorative repairs required. You can see around the down lights. Um, these need to be addressed. Um, nothing too hasty. Again, sanding back any filler and recoating will just make everything much better. Also, I wouldn't say it's a concern, but it's quite clear that that grout is meant to be grey. It's quite filthy. So it looks like there hasn't been a professional clean throughout this property. So quickly, just having a quick run through some of the issues we found here. So you can see we've got some damage to that door handle. I mean, it was covered in paint anyway, um, but this now needs to be replaced. You can see on the back of the handle, we've actually got a gap here. That's because the handle's loose and not secured to the door. What's more alarming is you can see there at the side of the mechanism, the door's starting to blow slightly. If we look to the side, you can see the lipping is actually cambered, it's peeling away from the door, it's debonding. It's the same on the opposite side. So we need to look at this because it's either a manufacturing fault or it's a storage point. So who's to blame? I know it's not the customer. <coughs> Got some quite poor finishing to the rear of the hinges. Need a little bit of improvement there. You see we've got build up to the threshold, to the door itself. This needs to be cleaned. Some areas there. We've got obviously paint build up here, filler over switches, paint over this. So we've got some areas of improvement, but just have a look at the finish around this socket. Look at that. It's like a child, isn't it? And it's not an exaggeration, it's incredibly poor. <clears throat> Easy fixes, but why is it left? Why is it like that for the homeowner to see? It's disappointing. Uh, we need some screw caps on that isolator plate with a decorative repair around there. You can see that we've got a crack leading up to the ceiling above the door edge. This is due to incorrect board placement. The board should obviously be notched um, to get a, try and get rid of this stress joint as much as possible. So. Yeah, we've got a bit to look at. We're we'll going upstairs. Let's crack on. So we're going to be moving upstairs now. Um, just finished. So we finished the externals, finished the ground floor of the internals, and we're up to 133 issues. And to be honest, some of them are not so great. So hopefully, it improves as we get upstairs. Um, obviously we've got the bathrooms and the en-suites to look at. It's quite difficult to get a bedroom wrong, so hopefully um, things will improve up there. So yeah, we'll get into it and let's see what we can find up the dancers. Let's do this. So a couple of things for me. I'd like to see an oak mushroom cap on this. I hate to see that fixing point where it sags in when it dries because it's not the correct filler or it's not been prepared and painted correctly. We've got a really coarse finish to the stir string. It's disappointing. You have to remember this is brand new material. Got some discrepancies to the wall surface. They need to be addressed. Scrape back this deep on deep bonded debonded paint and reapply. Um, not fantastic again. Looking at the handrail, obviously this is this is a veneer, but um, if you look at this, this is actually glue residue. I could probably see scraping off. Um, it's the same on the face side. So, if I remember these handrails, they're a feature, they're there to look nice, so they need to be presented nice, they need to be installed correctly. Um, got some flashing here on the bottom, some plastering issues, got marks up there where the um paint as ladders been and then left marks on the wall and then one thing that we noticed down here as we're walking up the stairs 
Can you see the difference in the partition and the new? So I didn't really need to get the laser out for this, but I know that newel is out of plumb because I'd already checked the wall. And if we have a look up here, look at that. It's absolutely imperative when we're installing staircases. I'm a joiner by trade. I'm experienced at fitting staircases, that all the components, the newels, treads, absolutely everything needs to be plumb level and true. And that is approximately, without measuring, about 22, 23 mil out of plumb. Absolutely outrageous. Let's check this one. Right, so we're checking this one now and yep, you guessed it. It's exactly the same, but the difference is this time, the handrail is actually installed on an angle. So it's all over the show at the moment. Nothing's correct, nothing's true. Everything's working against each other. And it's quite disappointing to see. Okay, so I've just finished upstairs now inside this property. So we found all different kind of items. I'm gonna run through it all as a bit of a haul. It ain't all the issues because there's quite a few and we'll get into that a little bit later on, but we'll just pick a few issues as we walk into each individual room. So let's get into it and see what we can find, eh? So as we move into the bathroom, it wasn't too bad. Um, we had the bath panel off and we did find that it had not been cleaned underneath there, so that was a little bit disappointing. Um, we've got crack sealant around the external side, so when we apply any kind of weight, you can see it start flexing down and splitting, so it mustn't have been sealed with the bath filled. Let me just stick this on a wide angle lens. Um, <clears throat> little things like, we've got paint build up on the pipe work. I mean, there's nothing crazy about that, but either remove the paint or apply more. Let's tidy it up. If you look a little bit down, you can see we've got a section, a sealant application missing, so we need to apply that. We've got poor decorative finish um, to the doors. You can see this in a number of areas. We shut the door, areas of damage, things like that. So we want to get that repaired. While we're at it, all the fixing points should be filled prior to decoration. So that's something else that can be addressed. Moving inside the shower enclosure, we just need to cut in around the perimeter of the tiles and make it look all tidy and neat. Oh, we continue to move on. Having a look in the master bedroom now. So a couple of things. Um, we need the screw caps. Get rid of the paint build up onto the switch. If we look a bit of a poor finish to the underside of that window board, we want to see that improved. And you must admit that's pretty poor. Um, poor finish around the socket. And if we look here, this is just, you can hear it. Incredibly coarse finish. We've got all kinds of decorative repairs. So yeah, this one's sanding back and just re-hitting and just making it look really sweet and nice. Got a number of decorative issues. Got indentations to the ceiling. They need to be filled. We've got a board junction there that's quite prominent. That could do with a little bit of attention. Again, nothing too crazy going on in the ensuite. We do have some damage. It'll be difficult to see now, so I've done a test, but if we go a little bit closely. I'm not sure if that's showing up, but there's an indentation there. Sealant discrepancy to the corner. I want to get that addressed. Some decorative improvements required to the ceiling a bit more when we turn the light off so around the down light sand back them hard bits recoat the paints and everything will be looking a little bit sharper and a little bit sweeter so as we move into the bedrooms again there's only so many things you're going to find inside a bedroom um, unfortunately here we've got gaps to the underside of the window boards that needs to be sorted we look down here again, some poor finishing always seems to be the underside of the window boards, but we're checking absolutely everywhere. You can see the junction of this wardrobe, and then as we move up, you can see that we've got a gap 
present there and that should be closed up so a little bit of attention required some paint repairs on the arc same on this side not too bad it can easily be repaired stuff like that what do we find in this little room we've got um, again multiple indentations nothing too crazy in here this was more as we open you can see we've got all residue still on the UPVC we want to see this all cleaned off so it improves the presentation when you're in the room we've got some decorative issues on the reveals all things like this need to be sorted <clears throat> similar as we move into this bedroom you can see we've got some damage to the grill there of the radiator the issues continue with the window boards there's loads of discrepancies on the paint finish it's a shame to see uh, but they're all going to need to be redone loads of decorative just little bits um some poor plastering and see it's not great is it needs to be sanded back high spots need to be sanded indentations need to be filled and then reapply the paint to give it a decent job there should be no paint splashes or anything like that on your newly installed wardrobes we've got a missing section of seal that needs to be addressed again more paint build up but it's not too bad it's not too bad um right that's it for the upstairs of the property we've just been into the loft space a couple of issues up there we've got a mechanical clip that's not been installed you see we've got build up on the seal in there um but again the insulation's installed it's not too bad um so yeah i'll give a brief of the entire inspection in two little minutes hi guys so that's the inspection complete for today there's been 232 issues inside and outside this property that breach the nhbc tolerance which is the warranty provider for this site so there's some areas there that they just we, we just shouldn't be finding them if we're completely honest um it should be much better handed over to the customer and they've got young children so it's a bit of a pain now getting people back in sanding filling reapplying paint um but we are where we are so we'll support the customer just to make sure that everything gets done to the correct standard and yeah we can move on so i'm going to jump back out on the externals i'm going to do a quick drone check before i leave and um We'll be moving on to the new property so again if you really like these videos and they're informative or you just enjoy watching them looking at all the different house types please follow our channel just like subscribe and we'll be doing these on a weekly basis um, let us know in the comments what developer you'd like us to go to next which house type because we will be doing them all so i'd really like to hear from you and thanks for watching cheers